Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, dear viewers, in the name of Jesus. Once again, we welcome you to a beautiful day. It's Sunday, October 27th to 2024. Again, we've come to share a few words using the devotional of the Church of Nigerian Anglican Communion. Today's topic is put your trust in God. Psalm 31 verse 1 to 24. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this wonderful day because Today is the day you have made. You say we should rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for your faithfulness because it's great towards us. Every time, again, you have expressed this, your great faithfulness again in us and to us. We ask, O oh God, as we meditate together, be the Alpha and Omega of this meditation in the name of Jesus. Grant us a revelation of you in the name of Jesus Christ. That indeed, after this time, your joy will fill our heart in the name of Jesus. Again, no longer to declare whatever the kingdom of darkness, the peace of air have declared, have set in place to steal, to kill, and to destroy the profitability and productivity of your world in us. Father, frustrate them. Holy Spirit, glorify Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me quickly read for us the verses of the Bible from Psalm 31, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to hear me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Put me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated those who regard useless idol, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities, and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes waste away with grief. Yes, my soul and my body. For my spirit, my life is spent with grief, and my years with sign, and my strength fails because of my iniquity. My bones waste away. I am a reproach among all my enemies, both especially among my neighbor. I am repulsive to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I hear the slander of many. Fear is on every side. Why they take counsel together against me? They scheme to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Do not let me be ashamed, O Lord. For I have called upon you. Let the wickedness be ashamed. Let them be silenced in grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence. We speak insolent things proudly and consistently against the righteous. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you, in the presence of the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence from the plot of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried out to you, Oh, love the Lord, all you is saints, for the Lord preserved the faithful and fully repay the proud person. Be of good courage, and it shall strengthen your heart. 
all you who hope in the Lord, put your trust in God, is our topic this blessed Sunday. Let me quickly read a few sentences from the devotional. The psalmist confessed that his trust is in the Lord. Therefore, he feels secured to expect God's deliverance, guidance, mercy, and protection from his enemy. Since he put his trust in the Lord, he committed his time in his hand. He praises the goodness of God to those who trust in him. He also blessed the Lord for his marvelous kindness shown him. He thereafter admonished the saints to love the Lord for his preservation. Finally, he encouraged all who hope in the Lord to be of good courage, for they shall be strengthened. Friends, viewers this morning, with all what is happening around us, it is expedient and important for you to put your trust in God. To put your trust in God means to allow God and his words control, shape your thoughts and reaction at all times and in all circumstances. To put your trust in God, let me repeat again, is to allow God and his words to control and shape your thought and reaction at all times and in all situations, in all circumstances. The psalmist painted different times what he is passing through. How he felt God has neglected him. But yet, in the midst of all, he keeps his hope alive in God. Friends, the time we find ourselves, the Bible explained to us, as predicted before now, in Matthew chapter 24, verse 12, it was said there to us that this time and thereafter, wickedness, lawlessness will keep increasing. Likewise, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, that this time, difficult times shall be so pronounced. Difficult times shall be so pronounced. And when you look around you, a lot of crisis. Even in that Matthew chapter 24, the description given there that this, this is a time of deceit. Then why should you? Put your trust in yourself. In the Bible, it was recorded to us there that the act of unregenerated man is deceitful and desperately wicked. What is a signal of danger when you put your trust in yourself? If you are going to stay through this time, if you are going to live in this time, dear viewers, just like the psalmist have said, the only option we have is to put our trust in God. Because God is ever ready to deliver us. He's so sure. He has promised it. He has given his word to us that he would, he would deliver us. If you put your trust in yourself, you put your trust in the arm of flesh, it has limitation. When you look at Psalm 20, verse 7 to 8, you discover that there is limitation to what the, 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 the flesh can offer. There is limitation to what the strength of man can offer. There is limitation to what your intellect can offer. He said they put their trust in chariot. They put their trust in horses. Why those that put their trust in God were standing, they had to fall flat. Because every day with his evil, 
And as you put your trust in God, what is expected of you, dear viewers, when you put your trust in God? That means you keep declaring and keep believing. You keep declaring his goodness, just like the psalmist have done. You keep declaring his goodness. You keep declaring his greatness. And at the same time, you keep declaring and believing God for those expectations that what he has said concerning you cannot be cut off. Proverbs 23 verse 18. He said the expectation of the righteous cannot be cut off. So this you keep doing as you put your trust. Remember, to put your trust in God is to allow God and his words to control your thought pattern, to control your reaction in any circumstance, in any situation, and at all times. There are a lot of things you're going to gain putting your trust in God. You will keep standing no matter the storm. It will not overwhelm you. You will keep standing as you put your trust in God. The Lord, my prayer for you this morning, because without Christ, as a believer, as you go to church, you can't do anything. But the Apostle Paul told us in Philippians, he said, with Christ. I can do all things through Jesus that strengthens us. And so the same thing I encourage you, even as you go to church this morning, let the word of God sink deeply into you so that you control your thought. As you listen to it, and the one you are listening now will control your thought. And whenever you want to react, it will be what will govern your reaction. It's an evidence that you trust him. It is well within the name of Jesus. I want to pray with you again this morning. Father, thank you, O oh God, for this privilege to hear from you. As we journey in life, we ask for grace to trust you. We ask for grace to hold on to you, no matter the situation, so that at the end, both in this life and the life thereafter, we will be so victorious. Thank you, merciful Father. Thank you for blessing this week for us already, that this week is blessed in Jesus' wonder-working name. We have prayed. Remember, putting your trust in God is to allow God and his word to control and govern your heart and then your reactions to situations that comes your way. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.